If you don't stop staring, I might get awkward. Um, sorry. I was just... Never mind. What are you doing here? Just watching the water. It's so peaceful. And you? Emma, I don't know what's up with her, but she's kinda... A lot, I know, but she's gone through a lot in life. After my parents left, Emma's dad, Uncle Henry, brought me up. We've grown up together, and she wasn't always like this. I feel bad for her. Is that why you date her? Because you feel bad for her? Suddenly, Sam's expression changed and he turned around to leave. I'm sorry, I overstepped, but I'm not sure if I can be around her. She's not that bad, and it's just her first day. Give her a chance and hang in there. I took Sam's advice and decided to be nicer to Emma. I even hung out with her and Sam more often, and it wasn't so bad, especially because Sam and I hit it off instantly. We had a lot in common and could talk all day, but I could tell it bothered Emma a lot. Like this one time during a cleaning drive, Sam was helping me detangle a net, and I accidentally cut my hand. He was helping me when Emma fell to the ground. Ah, oh, help me, Sam. I'm too soft to see so much blood. Take me home. She started crying like a banshee, and Sam had to leave to calm her down. That night, Emma didn't even bother checking up on me. A few days later, the instructor informed us that Mr. Beast was in town and he wanted to visit us, and Sam and I volunteered to help out with prepping the camp. Why couldn't the pirate learn the alphabet? Because he's stupid? Why else would he be a pirate? <sighs> no, dummy. Oh my gosh! I am blown away! because he was always lost at sea. Get it? Get it? <laughs> that is too funny. Suddenly, I felt Sam's hand on mine, and my heart went racing. Step away from my boyfriend? Now! We turned around to face Emma, fuming in anger. Stop flirting with him! Jeez, relax. We were just talking. I'm not blind. First, I thought you were jealous because I'm smarter than you. But now I know that you have your evil eyes on my Sammy Bammy. And you! Stop staring at her and move it! We have a date! Um, I'll see you around, I guess. But we still have work to do. You can't just leave. He can, and he will. And I'm putting her here to keep an eye on you. Okay, weird as ever. I got back to work and tried finishing up on my own, but there was just too much to do. Suddenly, I heard footsteps behind me and assumed it was Sam, but my jaw dropped when I saw Mr. Beast in the flesh. Too late for you to be up and working, right? I, I, how art thou? Sorry? Um, I'm talking gibberish. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. What you do inspires so many people. It must be tough. Yeah, but not as tough as what you guys do. I used to volunteer at this camp too. Best days of my life. Wish I could say the same. Anyway, I thought you were coming next week. I was, but then what's the fun in that? I like to give surprises. Oh my god, did I just have a conversation with the most followed celebrity on YouTube? This had to be the coolest thing ever. The next morning, the instructor announced that Mr. Beast wanted us to participate in his new challenge. The rules were simple. Volunteers would be divided into four teams, and each of us would be given one part of the beach to clean. The team that cleaned the fastest would win a chance to be in a video with him. As luck would have it, Sam and I were on the same team, while Emma was in a different one. You rigged this, didn't you? So you could be close to Sam. Shut up. I have better things in life to do. I know Mr. Beast personally. I will go and ask him. I'm sure he'd love to know what a lying cheater's butt you are. As long as you leave me alone. But minutes after Emma left, Sam walked up to me. Sorry about last night. I had to take care of her. Look, Sam, I don't want to get in the middle of your mess. Emma clearly wants me to stay away from you, and I want to concentrate on my work. And I'm distracting you? Well, yeah, sort of. Fine, but tell me one thing. Don't you feel anything between us? Not even the slightest spark? It doesn't matter what I think. She's your girlfriend, and you love her too. So it's best you stay away from me. I don't love her. Uncle Henry has done a lot for me, and I can't disappoint him. Emma's happier around me, and I'm just in the relationship because I owe him a lot. I would have broken up with her a long time back if I could. My mind went blank as Sam came closer to kiss me. But just then, we saw Emma staring at us with tears in her eyes. How could you? Emma, wait. But Emma just turned around and ran away. Just then, the bell went off and the competition started. I could feel Sam's eyes following me, but I still felt horrible for Emma, so I ignored his glances. And then, in the middle of the competition, we saw Mr. Henry running toward us. It's Emma. We can't find her. Have you guys seen her? Not since the competition started. I'm sure she's around somewhere. I don't think so. Mr. Henry showed us the message on his phone. It said, I'm leaving forever. Don't look for me. We frantically started searching the area, but Emma was nowhere to be found. I called 911, and soon we had a police search team looking for Emma too. Oh God, I hope she didn't go into the woods. That's the only place left that we haven't searched. Well, we have to look to be sure, but what about the competition? What about it? Emma's life is more important than anything else. Now hurry up. Sam.